No badge that I can see. a white female? Uh, no, she's African American. And took this photo. Bynum posted it and what happened on social media. Many responded, suggesting what Piazzisi did was racist. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV News. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV News. Now listen, on my previous video that I made about the 911 callers, I know that video was hilarious, but it also offended some viewers. Mm-hmm, it did. I'm just simply trying to bring you the news. It happens every day. So let's not waste no more time. Uh, uh, let's go. I just feel awful. Jasmine Piazzisi says what she meant as an act of neighborhood watchfulness has spiraled into a misunderstanding. I was just re recognizing a stranger in our neighborhood and I called the non-emergency line because that's what I thought you did. That someone was state rep Janelle Bynum. She was going door to door talking with her Happy Valley constituents, then jotting down their concerns on her cell phone. Seemed like a little longer at the houses with nobody home. Piazzisi thought Bynum had other intentions, so she called the sheriff's office. Police and fire dispatch. Hi, so I just wanted to kind of inform you guys that we have this lady that's been walking up from Mather and um, like for no apparent reason is walking from house to house and she's not in like any business or have any badge or anything can, like, can you know, you tell me where this is at? Oh, yeah, of course, that would probably help. Um, so it was, she walked up from Mather Road, and now she's walking on 125th. And the weird thing is is that she just stops at the end of the driveway whether or not she talks to somebody. So she, like, knocks on the door, and then if somebody's there or not, she'll stop at the end of the driveway and enter something into her phone. And, I mean, it takes a couple minutes per house. Did and she so talk to you? Like, did she talk to her at all? No, I didn't. So my son said hi to her because he's three and says hi to everybody. Mm -hmm. But then she, like, didn't come to us. But she's gone to every other house that's, like, when people mm -hmm. are home. Yeah. Um, it looks like not home. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So when people are not home. She stops and goes to her. Oh, room. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it okay. looks like she spends more time at the end of the driveway for people that are not home. So and she's gone to one, two, three, four. She's on her seventh house. That I can see. We just think it's weird because usually people are out of town for this weekend and I don't recognize her. So. And she clearly, like, avoided us. You guys were outside at the time? Yeah, we're packing actually to leave for the sport. So, um, so we've been back and forth for the last half an hour and, I mean, it doesn't seem like she has any real reason that we can tell. Okay. Anything. Only when the dispatcher asks Piazzisi for a description does Bynum's race come up. Are you a white female? Uh, no, she's African American, from what I can tell. A Clackamas County Sheriff's deputy responded and took this photo. Bynum posted it and what happened on social media. Many responded suggesting what Piazzisi did was racist. Again, Here's what Bynum said. I hope that I can be a voice for for people who look different from the mainstream, but I mean, honestly, I I live in this neighborhood. I feel like I should be able to walk anywhere I want um, without being second guessed. PZC says race was never a factor in why she called police, and she's still trying to make things right with Bynum. I did speak with her and apologize, like I said, uh, on the day. Uh, that it happened, and but I'd like to sit down and uh, talk with her more and um, get her perspective as well. PZC says she hopes to learn from her mistake, and along with everything else, she's glad she knows who her state rep is now. She just wishes it didn't have to happen this way. No, she, no, she didn't. No, she did Did she say she wanted to reach out to the representative to be a teacher of a moment? I'm dead. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm that was truly a teachable moment. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.